This is a, a project I've been working on. It's uh, an hour timer with infrared remote control using an Arduino Nano. This circuit uses the Arduino Nano, uh, the KY022 infrared receiver and a 5 volt relay and audible sounds are from a buzzer it's usually between 5 and 12 volts input on the buzzer okay let's start wiring it up you got the ground wire from the infrared module to the ground on the nano the old common ground Do, 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 do. Let me just get that straight. Yeah. We got the ground from the relay. There's that pin there. And get the ground from the buzzer. That's all the all the grounds connected. The the positive is five volts. That's that. Both the infrared module and the relay are run off at uh, 5 volts. I chose the nano because the signal level is enough to drive the, the relay. They're mm -mm -mm. positive on the relay. Positive on the infrared module. It's an infrared module, basically, just basically an infrared LED on it. But it's very good. It works and works well, and it's cheap. Okay. That's the positives. We use the signal wires now. We'll have D2, which goes to the relay. That's the signal, the signal to drive the relay. A high on this signal will turn the relay on and the low will turn it off. Uh, we got the, the feed from the signal from the infrared module to the nano. D3 Let's go to D3 Oops Any signal from the Received from the infrared module, go to D3. D4 is the buzzer, drives the buzzer. 
for uh, audible indications. Okay, just put that down a bit. Okay. The voltage, input voltage of the nano is a maximum of 12 volts. If you want 5 volts out, you'll have to put more than 5 volts in. But the maximum is 12 volts. Okay. So, so that's your wiring diagram. Right, this is the code. We we use the infrared remote library to read and decode the the pulses received by the the module the infrared module we have to define the timer interrupt and the logic level and we have to define the use timer as being true before we include the timer interrupt the H library because we use the interrupt to count down uh, uh, and we use we we go to the interrupt routine which is this time handler routine and um, once every second right we have a an integer well we define the pins the the infrared pin as pin 3 the buzzer pin is pin, pin 4 and the relay pin is pin 2. We have a timer which is either high or low. It's It tells you um, it switches the relay on and off. The timer it's, I call it timer, I, sh I should call it something else, but I, I call it timer. The flash LED, that turns the, the onboard, the built-in LED on and off, and it knows which is, whether it's on or off. We have a, a volatile integer called dwell. It's volatile because we need to alter it during the interrupt and the dwell is the actual the time to count down if it's not it's actually reached it's just reached zero if it's minus one it means it's 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 not active we have an unsigned long called press which is actually holds the value of the code received by the by the remote library. We'll talk about that presently. This is the the voider. This is the handler routine, which is the interrupt routine. Just just this little bit here. The, and this is the entire interrupt routine and it re, it goes to this interrupt routine once every second and what it does is if the countdown time is higher than zero then just decrease it by one and flash the onboard led that's all it does the setup is we put the relay as an output, the buzz as an output. We turn the relay off, make sure the relay is off, and we make sure the buzz is off. 
if you want to read the codes to put your own codes in uh, on the in of the inter infrared enable this serial um, monitor it could be any speed but I use 115200 um yeah this is this enables the IR um according to the pin that we're using this enables the 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 interrupt and this sets the interrupt as one every once every second and go to the time handler routine that's all it is right this is the loop right what it does it checks to see if it's if the countdown is zero and if it is make it minus one uh, flip the relay into if it's an on it'll flip it to off if it's off it'll flip it to on right that's the time of one more and then buzz three times otherwise no, not otherwise and, and and if you've received any codes from the infrared print it out on your serial printer serial monitor <laughs> your serial monitor um we'll print the word code anyway before you actually this is the the bit that prints it out so it just take these out and it'll um it'll enable the code and you can actually see what codes you're receiving when you need to change them for your certain what whatever remote you're using this key press routine if it's actually received a code it'll be it'll be it'll be something other than zero so it'll actually go to the key press routine which is this and what it does is it checks to see in the variable press it checks to see if it's um that code and if it is it's for me it's an on and off these are the codes you have to change um, for your actual remote control so when you first start this this routine the first time you use it open the serial monitor and um, enable these so that you can find out and press the buttons on the remote and it'll tell you it'll print it whatever the codes are um, yeah well, my codes were on and off button was to turn turn the timer off and turn the turn the timer off and turn the state change the state of the relay Uh, the zero just turn the timer off the a one uh, gave it a, a dwell value of 3600 is one hour in seconds and it's it just made the dwell that many seconds so when it went to the other routines the loop the interrupt would just count down again from 3600 from what it was before so you can actually press these these buttons halfway through and any time you want and it'll start all over again it doesn't change any state of any any of the relay or anything it just makes the the dwell count into uh, hours according to the the uh, the button you pressed and that's the, these are all the codes that I found for my key, my keypad 
that corresponds to five, that corresponds to six, that corresponds to seven, and so on. Uh, and that is it. So you have to, you have to um, do, 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 take this out, enable that code there, enable that code if you want, and enable this one, and it'll print out the codes on your serial monitor for your infrared. Each button that you press on the infrared and insert them here and here I've got I wrote it down um, where is it to be here I wrote it down I wrote the code decode as it came up on the serial monitor this was on and these are the seconds nine Nine hours happens to be thirty-two thousand four hundred seconds. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So that I just wrote that down. Okay. So I hope you have. Um, oh, I'll put the um, uh, a link in the description of of uh, the project hub and where you can find this you can actually download the whole thing and um, have fun